Welcome everyone back to War Thunder. Today it's a different tone. Today we are going on a battle rating lance for the Horde. Keep in mind, indeed, version 3. Because it's not the version 1 which has propellers. Oh. And what's better map to show it then? Oh, actually, I don't know. Never mind, let's, let's just not, not talk. First of all, this plane has been. Uh, uh, oh, that was cool. This plane has had its battle rating increase from 7.0 to 7, uh, not even 7, 8. This means that we'll be fighting with the top tier jets They're pretty, pretty often now. I've already taken this plane out for a few, for a few times, and I've already, every single time, been faced up with... Well, the first time was a MiG-17, now we have a MiG-15 this, so we'll, and the CR-13. Now... Don't get me wrong, I believe that the Horton was uh, under tiered before. It was very often fighting propellers, propeller planes, or just flying propellers, just propeller planes, and that means this whole, this plane was quicker than them and more maneuverable than them, and often, more often than not, had better guns than them. And now it is the opposite. This plane prime is still more maneuverable, but to a certain extent. Lots of planes at this battle rating they'll face, like the Hunter and the F2 Sabre, can do can turn 12 Gs easily and even more without ripping. This plane can't, so already we have a maneuverability problem. Secondly, as you can see, the MiG-15 this is over there somewhere. The CL-13 is much higher and much quicker than me, of course. And the MiG-15 other one is over there. So, as you already you can see, this plane has a speed issue. Now, fine, I only have one engine upgrade done, which is a compressor, which is the, the worst one. But, quite honestly now, guys, in this plane it shouldn't be fighting Hawker Hunter, the, the quickest plane in the game, the F2 Sabre, a ridiculously good plane, at all, when it's really slow. Now... Jet battles are all about energy, and oh look, a MiG-17, oh look, another, oh look, three MiG-17s, or MiG-9, that's better. Uh, jet battles are all about energy and energy states, etc, etc. That means that this plane is at the bottom of the ladder. Now we are going head on with an IL-28, that is really the only thing we can do in order to, uh, well, get a kill. And oh look, a MiG-17. Now we actually we cannot just go easily into this uh, turn because uh, well, it's either we rip or we die. Although I didn't do either of them, which is good. Now as you can see, we have another uh, enemy coming to us as a MiG-9, and our plane has gone to a flat spin. Now of course that is very fine, but oh oh, okay. And I've just lost control of my whole plane. I've honestly oh look, nope 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 nope. I'm very, 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 very lucky uh -oh. Oh, oh, to have survived that. Now, being introduced suddenly into uh, a top tier jet match is something that the German pilots have had to, uh, well, contend with, like live with it. I mean, it's not the first time, it's not the only plane that does it. Okay, alright, never mind, that's, that's slightly newbie. It's not the only plane that has this problem. Now, in the German territory at least. Look, I'm dead. Another plane that uh, has this problem is the ME163. And again, that means that... Ooh, oh, 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 it's a very good plane. So again, we have the problem that you are immediately into... Uh, like, introduced into a top tier jet. Well, not top tier jet, but into top tier jet matches. And another plane is the MiG 15 Biz German edition, the so called German Democratic Republic edition. Again, you are introduced, uh, well, not straight away, you have the AT 162, which no one plays with, but then you have this, which is the best jet in the game. As in, not really, that's opinionated, but it's a top tier jet. Now, this is a big problem, and of course there are fixes to this, and 
course, me being extremely intelligent, etc., etc. Yes, may the, I don't know, praise being down. Yes, I am not very, uh, I'm a very modest person, very humble. Oh, sorry, right, let's stop. I have uh, two solutions for this. The first one is rather simple, that is, get rid of the rip for this sort of future knife. As I already said, the maneuverability doesn't really. Like, oh, look, I've been updated again. Haha, <laughs> look, it's not like a surprise. Oh, look, a CL13. Oh, look, what's behind me? Another fortune group. Now, like I said, get rid of the rip. That is a very easy way of, get of fixing this thing. Because, in arcade battles at least, this plane is an absolute turning monster. It can easily do 20 Gs. It's not a spot problem. 20 Gs, easily done. Of course, no other plane can do that. Like, well, no other jets, at least. Or if, at least if it does, then it will immediately rip. Now, that will make this fair. Oh, that, that was actually a good joke. Shout out to the Black Devil. Uh, that will make this game, this plane, fair ish. Of course, the, no amount of maneuverability can save you if you are playing against uh, some, like, deadly planes, like, well, the F2 Saber is a maneuverable plane for a top tier jet, anyway. So, yeah, that that's that's a fix to it. That's certainly a fix. Of course, it's not historically accurate because this plane did it. Well, I don't know whether it actually did rip, but it does rip at 12 Gs in real life. So, of course, there's that problem, which is a uh, an issue. But of course, historical accuracy does not really is not really a uh, top. Uh, uh, priority in the Gaijin's agenda, since uh, obviously this plane here, which was a World War II plane, well, I mean, didn't really fly in action, but it was meant to be a World War II plane, and well, ne very nearly flew in action, but of course, timing's timings. Uh, this plane was a World War II plane. Now we have it fighting the CL 13, which is uh, Fine, it can, I don't think it actually threw action here either, but the MiG-15 Biz and the MiG-17, those were the top jets in the Korean War, like the very top jets, the Horse of the Hunt, I think that was even after the Korean War, I'm not, I'm not too sure, don't hold me to that, actually, let's, let's, let's just find out right now, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Hawker Hunter, yeah, Hawker Hunter crash, let's do that. Okay, the first modified, okay, right. Modern, early 1950s, so fine, okay, that's, that's uh, the Korean War, like, like, at the end of the Korean War. But this plane was uh, scheduled for 1946 to, like, fight. And so, that immediately puts it in very, very, very large disadvantage. And, oh, look, uh, oh, my microphone, sorry, my microphone is being annoying today. So yeah, that's obviously not historically accurate, is it? Although this thing, if playing properly, it would be actually pretty good. Now, getting rid of the rip would immediately uh, solve the problem. It, it was a very easy uh, solution. Uh, the second one is uh, the reason why... That doesn't look like it's recoverable, no. The reason why... Uh, the battle rating was increased, and that's because of uh, b battle rating compression. Because not enough people are playing jets in order for there to actually be lots of matches. Now, I understand that because, of course, I, I'm playing a jet, and I know, okay, that's the wrong target. I should not be fighting it. Nope, no, 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 and so generally, sorry, let me just get back to, oh yes, oh, damn it. That is what is very annoying with this plane. Because in order to play properly, you need to have speed, but if you have speed, then you can easily rip. So yeah, the easy solution to this would be to add the ME262 HG2. And now this is a plane that really should be, so, uh, like, not the game, you see, but... Uh, just generally, you should research this plane in Wikipedia or something. Yes, I can. Oh, for goodness sake, don't, 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 don't give me that. Let's just run an arcade battle just to talk about this. And, because battle rate compression 
basically means not enough people are playing this game at this stage, so the battle ratings need to be closer together in order for there to actually be lots of games. Now, the ME262 HG2 is. Now, one second, I just want to check something out. It's with this, okay, right. The ME262 HG2 is the high speed version of the ME262, and if you thought the ME262 was really fast, then yeah, well, you're wrong. Uh, of course, it's not fast compared to the HG2. And that would mean that people would want to play this plane. Uh, this plane, the ME262 HG2. And that would mean more people research the bottom, the lower jets, and so there'll be more people to play. That's the easy way forward. Of course, there are other planes that people really want to play, and the other tech trees like I don't know, I don't know, some Russian or American plane, or maybe I don't know a British plane. No, the uh, the what do you call it? The Hawker Siddeley jump jet thing. I don't know what it's called. I, I should know this because it's an important plane in British history. But that plane is lots of people want to play. Of course, that's just a joke and it's not going to be added. It doesn't really fit in with the concept uh, of uh, War Thunder. So, yeah, add this plane now. And I don't know what other planes you should add, but there are lots of planes that people want to play with. I don't want this. Okay, right. that, that's that's dangerous. He 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 won't be able to survive that. Okay. I don't know why he's not dead yet. Die, and there's someone behind me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm I'm just I'm not going to give you the rest of this battle. There we are dead. I'm not going to give the rest of this arcade battle this way because this is not interesting, is it? Oh, an E3. Easily done, easily done. Okay, so thank you for watching. When I can be bothered to press the F9 key, I will end this video. So I hope you really, uh, well, guys, and if you actually are watching this, please do realize what you have done. And I mean, I can understand. I mean, if this, the thing was undertaken anyway at Battle Rating 7, it was too good. Okay. It's, it's too good at that match rating. Uh, 7.3 or 7.7, 7, that's not realistic. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a good time. And see you later, yeah.